Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. Last week, we collected lots of comments from our giveaway video, and some audiences requested us to tear down the charging module of Tesla Model Y. And after taking it apart, we found some chips are missing. Let's see what they are. So here is the USB-C charging module. Let's bring it back to Model Y. Open the center console, and we can see this module is literally behind it. You can use it to charge your iPhone and other devices, but data transmission is not feasible. Then let's see its size. The length is 76 mm, width is 60 mm, and thickness is 8 mm. Connect it to DC 24 volts power supply and use the Charger Lab Power Z KT00 to test it. We can see the USB-C only supports PD 3.0, and it has three fixed PDOs of 5 volts, 3 amp, 9 volts, 3 amp, 12 volts, 3 amp. Maximum output is 36 watts. The other USB-C port has the same specs, so you can use any port for fast charging. Next, let's try to charge some devices to see how it works. The front of the PCB is very neat and clean because those two square pads of PCB are empty without any chips or components. The larger pad is used for the data transmission of two USB-C ports. The smaller one is used for the wireless connection. There is a 6-pin ESD chip next to two USB-C receptacles used for the electrostatic protection of USB pins. The filter inductor and controlling MOSFET are at the bottom. There is a shield can on the back of the PCB. And the step-down circuit is under it. This is the dual synchronous bar converter for two USB-C ports, model is MPS-MPQ4272. It can support the maximum input voltage of 36 volts and 3 amp output, enabling dual output of a total of 60 volts. Moreover, it has the features of high efficiency, low power consumption, and low temperature. Those two 4R7 step-down inductors can work with synchronous bar converter for step-down, and those two protocol chips are used to control the output voltage of the two USB-C ports, respectively. Model is MPS-MPQ5031. It can support QC3 PD3 protocols and temperature monitoring. It also integrates free bus switch MOSFET. Here are two high temp polymer tantalum capacitors from Kemet, used for input filtering and qualified to AEC Q200 standard, 33 microfarad, 35 volts. This is a filtering inductor, and another inductor is on the other side. Finally, here are two USB C receptacles. Well, that's all components of this charging module. As the USB C ports inside the center console, it adopts two Kemet tantalum capacitors for input filtering and the dual independent synchronous bar converter can work with two portable chips for independent output of two USB-C ports, so you can choose any port without hesitation. But it's very pity that the chips of data transmission and wireless connection are missing because of the chip shortage. Okay, that's all for today's video. If you're interested in our video, you can subscribe to us and follow us on Twitter at ChargerLab. See you next time.